Well, the question is, why should the Affordable Care Act never been signed into law? It's of great concern to women, myself included, because of women needing to have breast cancer detection. In December 2009, the group that tells the government what they should provide for Americans for their health care, which is called the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force, came out with a recommendation that no mammograms before 50 and then only biannually. Any doctor will tell you that that is extremely dangerous, especially gals in their younger years. I was diagnosed with breast cancer stage zero, and the reason it was stage zero? Because I was doing diagnostic, which includes an ultrasound. It wasn't the mammogram that found it, it was the ultrasound. When they signed this into law, yes, they had in there that women could have yearly mammograms. They said nothing about ultrasounds, they said nothing about biopsies, as patients and as citizens, we want to have a doctor-patient relationship. There is a panel that's been appointed by the president. It's called the Independent Payment Advisory Board, and their only goal is to cut costs in Medicare. Now, when you go to your doctor, his concern is what you might need as a patient, whereas Washington is interested in cutting costs, especially for probably seniors. It's very concerning that American women do not realize how dangerous this is for our health. And I just, I encourage them to stay educated and, and know exactly what is taking place because we want to live long and prosperous lives.